again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you uh, take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game. Ooh, this guy's got a good quarterback. He's got Aaron Rodgers. This is big person on big person. All right. Big unit against big unit. Meet on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick yeah. your cliche, but we know this: the ground's gonna shake, things are gonna rumble, and they're gonna have an impact on today's game. Yeah. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Short boot, taking it to 21. And yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. 36. That punt was weak. He's got Ezekiel Elliott. That's a dick. He hit Gronkowski. Before he was injured. <laughs> I know. Well, and that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. Right. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick. Brandon Cooks. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brandon Cooks. 59 yards, and the Saints have taken the early lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. This guy fucking this scored on me with Brandon Cooks. Nice I don't know how he did it, but and made it pay off. Here's good play. Fielded about a yard deep. Look at the spin. It's not hard. It's not hard. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progression. I thought I'd do that ball. The football before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Second down, Prescott. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 35. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Let's go. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, the speed. I mean, the flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot him at the 44. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. A second down throw for Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Yeah, I did it like eight you. times in the game I played. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajani. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of down. There you go, Jay Ajayi. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. Oh, wahoo. They blasted a big hole for him to gallop through. If he comes back to the huddle, he better be 
giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to run with. Out to the left here to Reed. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now a play fake here on first down. God damn it. Where were you throwing that ball? Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Prescott from the gun. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Prescott to throw on four. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Dante Fowler able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Wow. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came mm -hmm. together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized. You ain't lying. In the pre Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Now Rodgers on the bootleg, eluding the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And they'll be in search of 11 yards here on third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Where the fuck are you going, Norman? Why are you going way back there? Come on. He's playing the guy like way deep and it, he doesn't need to at all. Defense in press coverage here. A first down carry by Elliott. Oh, he's got a little... No, I just missed the fucking tackle. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. 34 yards there and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Elliott. And after the good game last You're game, not fucking running with Elliott, dude. As he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. This is caught. Gronkowski. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Rodgers now on third and goal. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very wow. close to a turnover. I there pick him off out of bounds. 
Okay. Look like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. <laughs> he just shanked the fucking field goal kick. Short distance, wide right, it's no good. From the 16-yard line. Right where it is. So from nothing less there than chip shot distance, a tough miss from the right hash mark. Well, this is just a wobbler. I mean, he knows he's got to get it going left. But that was right all the way. They'll start out on the ground with a Johnny. And he's going to be run over. Hit hard as he'll be marked down right at the line of scrimmage. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Prescott now on second down. Right side is Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey. Touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey touchdown. Here we go. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is. They had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch and even better run for big yardage. Short boot, take it at the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? For a second there, I thought he tried the screen. He got seven screen yards. Pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Rodgers to throw on second down. And that's Elliott complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And a timeout here. Timeout taken. Whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Oh, come on. I fucking stopped him. First down as he's up to the 45 yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back to Buffalo after this. So it'll be first down here after the run. The game is to Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On second down, here's Rodgers. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Open man, it's Allen. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 
It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Yeah, throw it out of bounds. Allen, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass incomplete. His throw incomplete. Brandon Cook, the receiver he was going after. Ain't getting that one. Third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on mm. first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called <laughs> by the receiving team here. Made his ass punt the ball. Sucker. As we head toward halftime. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on to punt. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Well, that was pretty obvious. He didn't let him catch it. Agreed. And he fucking ran into, into me. Fair catch, baby. They go play action here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I was just going to say, I just ran two with him because I have him on one of my uh, ultimate teams. His second read wasn't there, but he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> I'm going to try a play that worked earlier. It off. It's all right. So a touchdown a piece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. Seven, seven, I get ball though, baby. I get ball. It's a seven seven game right now. This is a close ass game. Yeah, I'm playing. Yeah, I'm doing the draft. I did the ultimate team draft. I did the mutt draft. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to see. Yeah, he had me. He had it covered. Good shit. John Simon not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. What the fuck? He just safetyed me. I was throwing, but fuck. sat in my chair the last few years. He has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina 
had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. This one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. Looking to throw on second down. Rodgers. There we go. Good shit, boy. Pick him off. defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes and here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone and this one basically comes right to him caught on the right side Reed five yards on the catch there brings up second down I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy I got a score target, I got a score pretty easily put it on him when your other targets aren't open Second down, Prescott. He's playing a lot of fucking zone. I know I can see it. Pressure, and that's certainly gonna be a key to this game going you know, forward. He wants to run zone reads. I'll just throw fucking screens at him. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Looking to throw. Prescott. They set up the screen to a J. <laughs> A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Come on, fucking Jeffrey. You got to get in front of that man. His guys will get the football back. Fucking now Alshon Jeffrey letting the balls fucking get in front here. of him. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second down now after the pass completion. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On second down, Elliott. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Come on, dude. Really? You're going to go for it? You're a fucking queer. Fourth and one, and you got the lead by two, and you're going to go for it. This one now in their own territory. A gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And you got stopped again. Come on. There we go. Come on. Flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Oh, come on, a jockey. The second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wow, my guy just fell on the ground when I tried to run. He fell on the ground. He ran into his lineman and fell on the ground. I cannot believe it. 
I cannot fucking believe it, dude. Starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Jordan Reed, touchdown. I shanked this kick. Holy hell. It's a close one. 13 to 9 going into the last quarter. This kid's played me pretty good, Andy Ducey. I gotta give him props. Sniffed out that screen, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Sniffed out the screen. Lost five yards. I knew it was coming. I seen it because I took... I usually take control of my lineman. And if my line guy breaks right through, I run to the side of the screen. Shotgun now for Rodgers. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he's able wow, to take this that was a good pass. They get back, but it leads now to a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Tim Carey now for Elliott. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. Rodgers now on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down deep in their territory. It's a big play there for the Saints. 45 yards. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. A give to Elliott. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. They keep on the ground with Allen. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll come out in the pistol. Back to throw. And he's got him. It's caught okay. in the end zone. Time for me to go to work. Rob Gronkowski, a five-yard touchdown. And the Saints have moved down in front here in the fourth quarter. Minute 50 left. He's up by three. Sure to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 
So out now comes the offense back onto the field. Drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle yourselves. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there was contact. I don't know. Like you said, he's got a man complete. Wow. He just made me fumble in the end zone. I was dancing because I made a long pass. And he stripped me in the other end. I should have scored, but he stripped me in the end zone, and now he's got the ball back with a minute 32 left. So he wins. It's a turnover as the defense will get it at the 20 yard line. That's insane. Wow. I got to make Elliott fumble like right here. In press coverage here. They start on the ground with Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They were in the 4-3. Mike Linebacker made a great tackle. And when that happens, generally it means that the guys up front, the four down defensive linemen, have absorbed all the blockers and allowed him to run free to the football. He ends up with a textbook tackle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And before this play happens, we're going to get a timeout here. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Rodgers to throw. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he's across wow. the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Here's Boxer to kick it away. He beat me on my own fumble. That was the seven points he just got. It was my fumble in the end zone. They might be thinking this is I would have been up by him. Yeah. You got to love Madden. Thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score games. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Dante Fowler in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Here's Prescott. 
Wide open receiver complete. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine How you doing, Andy? Left. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the I still torched him for 300 yards. 300, that means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much I torched him for 324 yards, but I fumbled in the end zone and he got it back and scored. It was a good game. I'm going to do another draft, though. I got five tickets. When you get back-to-back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea to try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. I've faced better. I mean, I've lost to better people, but yeah, I just I, I beat myself. I got cocky. I'll be honest. I got I got I got cocky. <laughs> yeah, I got so I got cocky. I ran with that fucking ball. And uh, he was he was hot dogging it. He was putting it between his legs. Let me see if I can view the highlight of it and put it on the live stream. And it was to Taylor Gabriel, wherever it was. Is this it? There's no replay for this play. Oh, okay, so there's no replay for it. Yeah, pretty much it was to Taylor Gabriel. And... Yeah, I torched him in yards. He had 249, I had 324. He rushed for 64 yards. Alshon Jeffrey had a, four receptions for 146 yards on my team. Like <clears throat> Taylor Gabriel, one for they gave him the 75 yard catch. One for 75, it says, and then it says one drop. So they gave him the catch, but on the one yard line, and it went in the end zone and out so he got the ball back yeah yeah you gotta love that sorry I'm still in placement matches there we go two or four I usually get four or four but it's all good I got 10,000 coins out of it so And I got a gold premiere pack, and I got Jawan James, whoever the fuck, some elite guard. Our service cannot process your request at this time. Really? Draft my team here. I got two people watching the stream. Comment in. Now it's one person. Jason Garrett, Mike Malarkey, Jim Caldwell. I'm gonna have to go with Jason Garrett. Ooh. Janoris Jenkins. See, I like him for height. What is He's best. I gotta take the best. Luke Key. 
Geekly, Telvin Smith on Navarro Bowman. You know you gotta take Keekly. I like Keekly. Bobby Wagner, Michael Bennett, or Paul Pazlesny. I need an end. So. I would take Bobby Wagner. Honestly, I would. Because I like taking linebackers. But I need an end to fill this team. It's got me with a 67. Ooh, Larry Little, Marcel Darius, and Muhammad Wilkerson. I like Darius a lot, but I like Wilkerson better. Muhammad Wilkerson is a beast. Jimmy Graham, PJ Williams, or Allen Robinson. I'm going with Jimmy Graham. Wow. Brandon Cooks, Cameron Brait, Michael Thomas. I might have to go with Cooks. Yeah, but Thomas is 6'3". He's a fucking... I'm going with Thomas. I like the bigger guy. I like the bigger receiver. I gotta get a line. Yeah, now you give me ends. I'm gonna have to put him at fucking one of them at guard. I love how this game just fucks you and gives you stuff you don't need. I'm loaded at wide receiver. Like, I'll take DeAndre Hopkins. I need a strong safety. Oh, wow. I get... So I get to pick Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, or Derek Carr. And they're all 90s. So I'm just looking at... Rogers, Ryan, a car. I was going to take car just because he has an 80 speed. But his arm is fucking garbo. Well, his arm's a one point less. I'm taking fucking... I'm taking car. Because I like to scramble. I like to do... Ooh, Ed Reed all day, baby. Ed fucking Reed. <laughs> Same overall. Overall, 83. 